Hey guys, Wired here, and we are back with another episode of Walking Dead Season 2. Uh, today we will uh, be tackling Episode 3. Um, I didn't do any yesterday because I wasn't feeling very well, so I apologise about that for those of you that were kind of like expecting an episode. But I will try and get an episode out um, every day now until we finish. Obviously we've got three more left, including this one. So yeah, I'm hoping to uh, get it finished. Anyway, let's crack on. Obviously, same as always, guys. I am broadcasting this on Twitch, so if I do uh, sound like I'm chattering to myself, it's probably because I'm replying to people on Twitch. Um, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, then you know feel free to follow me on Twitch so you can uh, watch me live. Uh, otherwise, you know that's fine. You know you carry on with the whole YouTube thing. I have no problem with that. Just show me some love wherever. Okay, so episode three, In Harm's Way. Very long loading time, unfortunately. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you fuck. We're going home. As a family. That guy sounds like a right nut job. More like holding him prisoner. And here we have Clementine, the star of the show. Ooh, butterfly. Taking up a hobby now of uh, collecting insects. There ain't much else to do. You about done over there? Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Everything come out all right, girls? Troy, get them tied up. Will do. That's a bit creepy. Well, we're on our way. Probably it's not a sort of question out. you want to be asking. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carve her out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. I used it to talk to my parents. Is that why you're looking at this one? Do you want to call mommy and daddy? I don't need it anymore. My parents are dead. Everybody's parents are dead. And that don't make you special. My dad's alive. And we're all grateful for that. 
Get the girls in back with the rest of them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Okay, he's now the new dick. Ian. Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey! Did he hurt you? Hey! Hey! Sounds like taking us back to a bloody prison camp. We gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? What the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. The truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. Is he... is he gonna kill us? I, I don't think so. He ain't gonna get the fucking chance. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help! I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped Alvin. That's not fair! You're blaming him for the actions of a madman! I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit, jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Stop fighting! Please. All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. At this point, maybe Luke is the only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. That guy's a flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. <laughs> Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. Hey, Clem, look at me. You trust me, right? Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. They know him, what he's capable of. I, I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, Aunt. That's okay, that's okay. 
All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? <laughs> Is he okay? I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. <laughs> oh, dear. Never mind. <clears throat> Damn brakes ain't working for shit. All right, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. Not up for debate. The expansion project. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see no if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light, a bright light, bright enough to shine in all this darkness. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie nice helped us you, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to. But then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Reggie. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. <laughs> All right, let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh, Hello, who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. It freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete?
Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but... Like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's <laughs> not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. I know that, but I'm starting to see what this place offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. It feels more like a prison. Well, that is a very negative attitude. She's right, Reggie. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. <gasps> I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. We're gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. Okay. <clears throat> just snuck up on you, huh? It's just ever. Nosy around. She wasn't thinking, and there's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. Besides shadow. It's definitely some sort of like labor camp. And then obviously this uh carver guy's just like, you know, benefiting it from it. Mike killed the walker and took off the arm really quick, like he'd done it before. Oh the creepy woman. Likes covering herself in guts. Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. <laughs> I saw a fella try that a few months ago. Hmm. Looks rickety. 
Rickety, rickety split. Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. This place seems so pretty secure. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Reminds me of the jewelry store. Clementine, please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to. What the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids. They love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. I'm gonna have to tell Bill about this. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. Dad! Oh, you all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. He was trying to help. She's just a kid. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey! It's fine. I am Indian. Everybody get to bed. Asshole. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good, good. The hell out of Confidence it. is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Don't care who I hurt in the process. Just need to get the hell out of that flipping prison. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Oh, great. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. You know, Reggie slipped up last night, but that doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example I to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be we'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay. the walls. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Michael will continue on, I showing his value. Nice finally... Carlos. Yes. Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. 
So, I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some mamby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be... overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. No, you don't need to do that. She's already scared. She won't do it again. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. I think I'll let her take the slap. She is a bit of a chatterbox. A bit naive. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Right. Now forcing child abuse. Do it. My, my. How society has collapsed. I'm sorry, sir. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, coming up! God damn this thing. Oh, shit. Clementine! Okay, just nearly got flattened by three bags of soil. <laughs> Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Yay, Bonnie. Bitch. Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. Great. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. It was just a bad situation. That got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but I know what I've done. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all of this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... Probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving, too. When Luke approached me about it, I, I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. And Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than... Start all over. Take this situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. 
He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... <sighs> I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but George died all the same. Ain't no saints in all this. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads, and Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. I don't know. Oh, you don't like it. I it's not that. I thought it was kind of cute. Well, this ain't a fashion show. It'll keep you warm. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? <laughs> Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Yes, yeah, so I wonder where Luke is, actually, thinking about it. I've, I mean, they traveled by truck, so I mean, I don't think Luke Follow would have me. had a truck. So he may be a few days behind. Stay in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Okay, can hear someone crying. It's probably Sarah. Yeah, it's Sarah. Oh my god. That's all this girl hey. does. You have to be tough, Sarah. Everything is harder now, but you have to be tough to survive. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, and just so you know, Bill yelled at me this morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on, like, the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. 
I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. <laughs> nice to see a bit of humor. So I'm just gonna make her even more of a wimp. Uh, yes, but then you know she could be a friend. She could become in helpful. <sighs> yeah, and then I could fall behind on my own work and then get a beating. Oh, god damn it! Let's just help her. Watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. I knew that was gonna happen. Just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bill. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy I just have I have one shut arm. Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. We... Sarah, she didn't understand. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. <clears throat> Looks like Reggie was going to get a beating whether I helped Sarah or not. Because if I did my own work, Sarah wouldn't have done anything. And then, you know, so either way, Reggie would have got a beating. What's wrong, Sarah? Oh, God, just push her off the roof. Get rid of that depressed bitch. Are you okay? I gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill. No, 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 please. Ah! Weakness, incompetence. It puts us all at risk. Nice. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Surprised Sarah hasn't pissed her pants yet. Oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? 
Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy! Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. I hope he dies when we kill Carver. Or if we kill Carver. I don't actually know. Oh, we're great. The fence looks really secure. There should be somebody out there taking care of that, not letting them keep pounding on the fence. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Stop fighting. I want to, Clem. But this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done. And... Oh, great. There's your cure for your headache. Come on. Oh, I don't know, it's a bit heavy. Hey -ya! Oh, come on, Clem. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! You think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Come on. Did this with the last episode, it was a bit buggy in between loading. I've got a feeling that fence is going to cave in. Ah, ah, stop. Hey, ah it's, it's Luke, it's Luke. Luke. Yes. Man, bit the hell out of me. Think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. Nah, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh.
There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I've ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. They plugged up all the holes we used when we got out. I have to go. Troy will be looking for me. Uh, what? Troy, he's expecting me back. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right. Okay, just, just one second. We just, we just need a plan. No way to get you and, and everyone. Luke? Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just, just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. We just gotta be smart, okay? We, we gotta plan. That radio was crucial to that. Okay, I'll get you one. Thanks, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, Clementine, uh... get out where I can see you. Go on, get out of here. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. Rebecca! She's a strong woman. I thought like she got Surrounded slapped. By weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Now get in here. Seen a lot of familiar faces from uh, season one, uh, 400 days. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will. And weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. I'm pushing my luck a bit, talking to this I guy like this. I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. 
If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way, the way my child will be raised. It ain't this hurt that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Fair enough. Fair? <laughs> Pretty much everything else is his in this place. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. <sighs> He's like a bloody warden, sitting up there in his office. It, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Walking Dead, the TV show, but he reminds me a hell of a lot like the governor. Power. Power crazy. Has to have control of everything. Because we all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw him to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are a few along the roof. Do they work? I've never heard them on. Actually, neither have I. They're turned off, but... It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Luke's in no shape to help us. You want to put our fate in that guy's hands, it's not happening. He did look pretty rough. We need to get out of here soon, and the herd is right there. I'd rather take my chances with them than Carver. Atta girl. Look, it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. Getting Luke the radio is helpful whatever we end up doing. It doesn't hurt to have more information. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio, he keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually... I do it all the time. Oh yeah, covered in guts. First words I ever hear you say and it's just some crazy stupid shit. Hush. <laughs> what do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. 
Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. Lee figured <clears throat> that out. What? It's how we got out of the Marsh House. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell did she come from? She, oh, she blatantly. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, she definitely reminds me of someone from the TV show. Range. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. That's my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Okay. Don't let go. I got you. I'm uh, gonna crane me up. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Ow. We're in trouble. Hmm. See them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? What about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. Okay. Ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah. Have a peek through the window. Okay. Bill, maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna 
let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there, just... moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. Come on. I wouldn't figure that. You never oh. got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. Ninja Clementine. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call some prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot Whoa, of shit taking to get two. built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. Easy does it now. She does it. Oh. Psst. You get him? Okay, jump down. I got you. Please catch me. We best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. Got him. Everybody stay where you are. No need draw on suspicion. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Thanks. Yep. Yep. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. <laughs> First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he'd just run. He couldn't stop him. Makes it harder to remember he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. Troy will be coming up for the rest of you. Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. All right, look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him, I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense, but come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would... There's a million reasons. She knows Luke. She can hide. She got the damn radio for us in the first place. Who cares? And I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam, all right? And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. You don't trust me to get a radio to someone? Kenny, no. Mike should take it. Clem. Why are you pushing her into this? I can do it. It'll work. 
All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Got that? I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, you have your pockets all out. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. Gonna get your tags all snagged on something. Oh, let's go! Hmm. So he didn't give it to Mike anyway. Let me take it. Oh, at least I made Mike happy by suggesting that Mike should take it. Last thing I need is to make enemies. She's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Yeah. Well, take her then. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, City Mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. It's nothing that'll hurt her. Okay. It's okay. Come on. I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you when you told me about Reggie. I ran and found Bill once I left you. Figured even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse, but... Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something. Like it had to be done. And that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Because it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? You know you can talk to me, right? Oh, God. I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. You can trust me. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything on this one. I can understand you're uncomfortable. I won't force you to be around me if you don't want to. Go on back out and be with Kenny. There's so many people walking around with guns. I mean, I get it, protection from the, the zombies and whatever, but I mean, it is. I don't think it's because of the zombies, you know. They're obviously. You know. It's like a concentration camp or something. I hate babysitting you assholes. Fluke? Fluke? Are you okay? Come on, the door's open. What's going on? Oh, shit. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Shit, people walking past the door. Luke! Where is he? That's... Was he sleeping here? Oh fuck. I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this. I was... You ain't supposed to be out here. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Will you wait and see what happens? Move! Hey! Great! We're screwed. Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? 
with deceit? Oh shit. What's going on? I don't know, Clem. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Tough is all we got now. Get that through your fucking skulls. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start. By telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. Oh my god, oh my god. What one. do I do? Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. Damn. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. No! Oh, God! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Me go. Clementine, help me! You have to do this, Bill! <sighs> Stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Yeah. Okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move. Because we're leaving tonight. We're leaving tonight. That's just really, really annoyed me, watching Kenny get a beating. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. I was hungry, I got reckless trying to steal some food, and I got caught. We can't stay here. Look, I hear what you're saying, but it's risky. It is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit. Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I've looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we got to be sensible about this. How's Kenny? Doc's over there working on him. And don't look good.
There's no way we're leaving tonight. This is what I'm talking about. Is he gonna be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. Oh, great. Fuck. Okay, look. So he's basically killed Kenny. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... You bastard! You so killed Kenny! Tonight, then we're gonna have to start talking about maybe leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but That was a really bad South Park impression. <laughs> Kenny and I are only here because of you people. And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. No, we're not leaving Kenny. That's not fair. We stay together. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because he won't have to. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Not bad, old man. Thanks, asshole. You are one tough bastard. Do tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody? You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? So don't go blaming yourself. It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we got to make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. Wait, wait, hold on. She's the plan? Oh, I don't know what to say. Choice says, so difficult. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Yep, I got it. Another mission for Ninja Clementine. Okay. So much responsibility for an 11 year old girl, it's crazy. Please work. This is 4th of July. 
July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with Howe's full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Shit, get the hell out. Disrespect me, fine. You wanna throw away the light I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You wanna run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that baby before I let you leave again with my child. It's not yours. You don't fucking know that. And until we do, you're not going anywhere. Whoops, wasn't paying attention there. <laughs> Sorry about that. You want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the light I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that... Ninja jump. Get back. Oh yeah, Kenny with his one eye still can pack a punch. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Yeah, just, just sh shoot him. Just what? shoot him. Shoot him. No, I just... Yes, finally. Yes, come on. Do him in. Guy's a nut job. Oh ho, ho ho Kenny's got some serious Go payback. Wait outside. Yeah, Kenny's got a score to settle. We have to go. Kenny, please. I only need a minute. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. We don't have time for this. I'm making we don't. time. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Oh, come on, Clementine. Don't be like that. Don't run away. You know you want to see the show. Who do you think you're fooling, huh? I know you. I know who you are. Let's go. Yeah, go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll be right there. You won't see anything. That's funny. Coming from you. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. 
Should have put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. Not the Kenny I know in there. I wish. I oh, he's could save pissed him. off. No, nah, no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Come on, we got enough to worry about. Being put in a prison camp yeah. can change yeah. a man. Make it through this. Do you kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. Shit! I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Fuck. This is fucked. Here. You're gonna need something. Thanks. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Do it quick. We need to get covered before the rest of them get close or we're fucked. This isn't gonna work. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? We have to, Sarah. Ah, oh, no, not around the back of the okay. neck. That's gross. Turn around. Smells Gross. Shit. Everybody shut the fuck up. It'll be okay, honey. Just stay still. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. I'll keep you safe. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. We ain't got all day here. Everybody ready? They're almost on us. What in the actual fuck is going on here? What is this sick shit? Someone say something before I start- Hey, hey, hey! Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker! I will end you, you hear me? Troy... Troy, we talked about this. What? What the fuck you talking about? I told you I wanted to get out. You said you'd help, then I'd help. I thought you meant get out of the pen, not whatever the fuck this shit is! I did. But now we can leave. Troy, you can come with us. What? Well, where would we go? Away from here. Together. Man, you smell really bad. You gotta get a bath before we- <laughs> You shot my dick up! Come on. Whoa! Don't make any noise, got it? They might hear something they don't like. For fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. Get over here! I need more ammo! We got this, y'all. Just that left all that food and supplies behind, like, it's the only problem.
Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Just take the fucking arm off. Come on. Come on. Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, damn it. Damn it, where the fuck is Luke? They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. Oh my goodness, there was a lot of tough choices during that episode. That was absolutely bonkers. Uh, great episode. I'm glad Carver died low. He was an ass. I mean, well, you know, is he dead? We don't know. Kenny could have just given him a good flipping beating and he could still be alive and coming after us for all we know. But we're going to assume anyway he's dead. We're going to assume that that, that camp or shopping centre is overrun and everyone's dead from there. Um... You know, we could be thinking ahead of ourselves if we say that some of them could have survived and got away and, you know, if made a, another group somewhere and they're out there somewhere and we could bump into them at a later date. We don't know. Um, so, yeah, that's the end of episode three. Uh, episode four will hopefully be the same time tomorrow. So if you're watching this on Twitch, please give us a follow and uh, come and join us for that episode. Uh, also, if you join, uh, follow me on Twitter, then uh, you know there's going to be a lot of updates on there of when I'm streaming and what I'm streaming and stuff like that. Uh, for you guys on YouTube, this will be going up on YouTube, so you know please rate, comment, subscribe. Really appreciate that as well. So yeah, I'm going to go get some lunch, guys. I've really enjoyed myself. I hope you guys have too, and I hope to see you uh, next time.